Hey everybody, welcome to the Wolf Pit. Uh, we're making some chicken and rice soup tonight, and it's just making enough for me and my daughter. Uh, so we got two. Uh, these are organic um, chicken breasts that we get from the store up the road, and we've been getting them, and they're, they're so much better than the ones you get from the normal um, grocery store. But anyway, we have um, about four cups of water, and we're going to add in four cups of chicken stock. That way it's not overly rich. And what we're going to do now is bring that up just to a simmer. And once it starts simmering, we're going to um, put a lid on it and let it sit for 20 minutes. We're going to turn the heat off once it simmers, and that's it. Um, and then we'll cube up the chicken and, and get it ready for the rice and stuff. What we don't want is stringy chicken in the chicken and rice soup or your chicken and noodles or chicken and dumplings, whatever you're making. So just don't overcook it. Um, normally I would not use chicken breast, um, you know, for a recipe like this, you know, I, I, I like the, um, I like dark meat better and I think it does better when it's simmering and stuff like that. And, um, you don't have to worry about it drying out. but. This is, all, this is what we had right now tonight, and this is what we're using. So let's bring this up to a simmer, and um, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, there we go. We got the um, the two chicken breasts that have been poaching for about 20 minutes, and just the water was brought up to a boil, and um, we're going to go ahead and pull these out now. These are fully cooked, um, so we're, gonna, we're, we're trying not to get... Um, stringy chicken so anyway we're going to pull these out let them rest and we're going to slice them up and add them in back into the soup at the last minute okay all right so now what we're going to do is i got the heat turned back up to about medium high and i have um celery carrots uh rub sage uh dehydrated carrot or um onions black pepper uh, bay leaf a little bit of garlic uh, and that's it no salt the um, the chicken broth already had enough salt in it um, depending on the um, chicken broth you decide to use or uh, chicken stock you decide to use you know um, count in you know how much salt is in that before you salt you add salt to it or you know do it at the last minute so we're going to put that in there and we're going to give it a little stir real quick and bring that up to a simmer and let that simmer and i'm going to add in a little bit of rice here in just a second i want this to come up to um up to a little bit moving here you know a little simmer and um let's go get our rice together All right, there we go. We have our rice and our broth and our vegetables. Everything's um, simmering away, and we're gonna go ahead and add in um, our two chicken breasts that that are just cooked. I mean, they're perfectly cooked. Um, and we're gonna add those in, and we're gonna bring that right up to a simmer. And as soon as it bring, comes up to a simmer, we're gonna turn the heat off, the lid on it, and dinner will be ready. Except for maybe a couple uh, last minute uh, season adjustments, maybe a little bit more pepper or salt or whatever, but I, I doubt it would need more salt. Um, but we're going to go ahead and give this a mix, bring it back up to a simmer, and put the lid on, and let it sit for about 10 minutes, and that will um, finish cooking off our rice that we have in there. Um, you know, obviously, the rice isn't going to absorb all this water. Uh, which we don't want it to because it's a soup. This is just chicken and rice. So, um, so we're going to let that simmer down for a few minutes. Like I said, once it comes back up to a simmer, which it should in just a second or two, um, you know, put the lid on, turn the heat off, and um, that's that's that. And then it'll be time to eat. <coughs> Alright, there we go. After about 20 minutes, um, the rice and the chicken have been simmering actually chicken been simmering for about 10 minutes and rice has been simmering for about 20 minutes so there we go we got some nice 
um, chicken and rice soup with um, carrots and celery and herbs and seasonings and we're gonna go ahead and plate this up real quick all right there we go dinner is ready and we're gonna go ahead and try a little bite in front of you guys uh, see if we can get some chicken and some vegetables in there there we go uh oh lost a little bit of it but we're gonna try it anyway Pretty darn good, pretty darn good. So, um, I think we're going to stick with this recipe. Um, very aromatic, um, very filling, obviously. You can see from the rice and the um, the chicken and the vegetables. Um, so, we're going to dig in here and have another bite. And thank you guys very much for watching.